You guys have asked to see more server content here on the channel. Well, at least two people have asked that. And this is the uh, current state of my main server. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's an MATX board on a test bench. It looks a little bit dismal, but... But what? Oh yeah, I filmed this yesterday to try and justify that I'm using VMware ESXi and vSphere for my new server setup. You're an idiot. This needs to stop now. And I don't care. What I do care about is Claire and her message from this video's sponsor. This video is brought to you by VIPSCDKey.com. Have you ever installed Windows 11 only to see the watermark of death? You don't need to fork out a couple of hundred dollars for a key. You can grab one from today's video sponsor from VIPSCDKey.com for a tenth of the price. You can use our code GEAR to get 30% off for this month only. How good is that? That takes that already cheap Windows 11 key and makes it even cheaper. It's easy as placing your order. Bingo bango. You've got your new key on your orders page. You chuck that key into the activation screen and you're good to go. No more watermark of death. Use code GEAR to get 30% off for this month only. Link in the description. On with the video, back to you, Nick. Thanks, Glazza. Let's get back on topic. I tried to soften the blow about VMware yesterday, but I don't care. That's the but. Technically, this isn't my server yet. I've been testing this hardware for about six weeks to figure out, well, to figure out why I don't want to use Proxmox because it gives me the, I don't want to say, people will get really upset with me. XEPNG is excellent, but doesn't quite fit right. Nutanix is a bit overkill and they tried calling me on a telephone after I downloaded the community edition. Hello, Nick's computers, need some RAM, Nick's your man. So, sorry, who is this? Oh. Wait, I signed up for a community edition and now you want to onboard me, sign me up to this crazy enterprise agreement and then you're not going to tell me how much this is going to cost? Yeah, no thanks, dude. I also know VMware really well. In a past life, it was my job to know it really well. I also need things like DRS and live migration because I use this server and another server that we have for real things, not just home lab things. All of that aside, yesterday me had a really good point. While you might not agree with my decision to go that way, what you will agree with is the choice of hardware here because it's really freaking cool. But this server may not look like much. It's a combination of commodity off the shelf gear as well as enterprise gear. The motherboard itself is a server motherboard. This is the MSI 3052. This is the dual 25 gig version. It's got dual 25 gigabit SFP28 network adapters. It also has a one gigabit management interface as well as VGA and HDMI. This card here, which is the Gigabyte RTX 4060, it's like the small dual slot SFF card that's got a connector on the end, whatever it is, the model, it's gonna be on your screen anyway, don't worry about it. That card is not for display for this machine at all, because if I am connecting to it with any type of monitor, it's through this guy here, the VGA port. This is for a little thing we like to call machine learning or as everybody likes to call it now, AI. Obviously a 4060 is not the most optimal card for AI, but for the use that I am using it for, it is absolutely perfect. You have to remember guys, when it comes to things that are gonna stay on all the time, especially in a house, you either make compromises or find the best tool for the job and this is the sharpest scalpel that I have. For RAM, I've got 96 gigs of team group memory. This is just off the shelf DDR5. I am gonna switch this out to ECC memory, but right now availability for ECC, at least in our region, is quite difficult and uh, very expensive. And I already have 96 gigs of RAM sitting aside for this. And I actually have another 96 gig kit that I'm gonna throw in to make it 192, but I'm gonna get around to making this 256 gigs of ECC, but not right now. For the operating system and for storing some of the virtual machines that run on this system, I've got a Corsair MP600 LPX. It's two terabytes, it's absolutely all that I need. This has a very interesting setup as well. I use iSCSI for a lot of the storage for the virtual machines as well, which maybe we'll cover in this video. I don't know how long this is gonna go for. The cooler is a Montec Hyperflow 240 Silent, and it's actually a pretty decent cooler, and I think 
This may even be a rebranded EK AIO cooler, I don't know, and people will get upset if it's EK, but I'm just gonna mention it because that's exactly what it looks like. Underneath the cooler is where some of the really interesting stuff begins to happen because this is running an AM5 AMD EPIC 4564P. It's a 16 core, 32 thread server CPU for AM5, but the way that I've tweaked this is not what you're thinking. Or is it what you're thinking? I could be quite predictable. The CPU is not the only interesting thing about this setup here. I've put some tiny little heat sinks on the SFP28 ports to add a little bit of extra cooling for the transceivers, but the real star of the show, ladies and gents, is this thing right here. This is the Almador WS500, I think that's what it's called. It is a 4U server case, it's only 500 mil deep and it supports 240 mil liquid coolers. It is the perfect candidate for this server. I already pulled it all apart. Let's put it back together. We are changing a couple things from the stock configuration of this case, mainly to suit my needs because this is my life and this is how I do it. I am rambling, pull these naughty boys out. <laughs> Said the squirrel. Push in the button, remove the bacon. It hurts so good. Oh. Oh shh. Next up, we're removing this very confusing 92 millimeter fan at the rear of the case. We're gonna replace it with uh, our brown friend, Mr. N. Noctua. We are finally installing our brown friend, Mr. N, Mr. Noctua. Just out here screwing my last friend. We're going to remove this intrusion detection switch because I am the only one who's gonna be intruding inside this box. Look at that, two screws gone and it won't detect any intruders. This is such a, look at it, intrude me. What year is it? Why is there a razor blade? Look at that, popped her in. And that's the great thing about editing, guys. I just do. One hand, sweet, we're in. I did it with one hand. Look at me go, Ma. She wouldn't be able to see that. That's a story for another day. This is why I build PC standing up. Can you imagine me blaming someone else for something stupid that I did? I'm missing so many screws. You only miss the shots. That's the question. We might have to have mismatched colors and you know what happens with, I'm pretty sure I ruined every screw hole in here. It's almost like I've never built a PC before. Always tip your server. We don't have to do that in Australia because we actually pay our people. All right, time to answer some questions because someone's gonna ask it. Why didn't you use a board that fills out the whole case? Uh, I didn't want to and I also don't have a board as good as this that does this. That's the only question, that's the answer. I'm definitely saying word, see? Easy as, as... yep. Hmm, hmm, the good stuff. Stuff's really good, been maining this lately. Yeah, this is my, hmm, how should we make the comment section angry today? I know, just some random line, because someone will say that I'm doing it. Let's just forget about the thousand build videos that are on the channel already. No, I don't know. As Destiny's Child once said, I don't think you're ready. Why does it always feel so good to put in squizza? Wazza, wazza. A chocolate. Guess what? I got bored of filming everything else, so I just jumped ahead about an hour and a half. I don't know. You don't really want to watch me build PCs all the time. Like I don't want to watch myself do it either. But someone using a 1,050 watt power supply, 50 watts for extra. Ooh, baby. Feed your power supply into the hole. Uh, that's a registered trademark. Please do not copy that. Oh, I will. It's like a Glade plugin. You can stay there for a minute. It's not really happening. It's not there. It's invisible. Never happened. Are you ready for this spaghetti? There is holes here for power supply sucking. Power supply sucking when you run out of juice and you still got to perform. Uh, this is so awkward. Dif In the hole she goes. Why didn't somebody tell me I was so crooked? Actually don't do that because sometimes you talk too much. Sometimes when the holes don't line up you need to line the holes up, jam you in there and pretend like it didn't happen. When a problem comes along, so much of this is getting cut out you don't even know. It's almost like I'd planned it to be a try together. Oh, get in the hole. Are you guys ready to get triggered again? <laughs> you tell me how terrible I am at building PCs because I do it with the case standing up, but it, it really does suck to build laying down. This sucks. I said that a whole bunch of times. The good thing about this PCIe slot, if I'm being a bit more serious than usual is it's an open slot, so I can still put a by 16 card in there. This GPU does nothing other than rages against the machine learning. Now it's finished. Oh, that doesn't work. And now it's, it's finished. How come magic never works for me? Maybe magic does work for me after all. 
I want to be a bit more serious and show you how this works. And yeah, well, I did want to show you how this works, but me showing you how it works quickly is longer than the video. So I've decided to split it into two videos. That's right. You're going to get another video this week. For the super nerds out there, you'll like it and maybe you'll learn something cool. For the people who have no idea what they just watched, yeah, same. You'll either learn something new or you'll fall asleep to the sound of my voice talking about eco mode running on a 170 watt AMD Epic CPU. I can already see a bunch of you nodding off.